Welcome to the demonstration of auto numbers by CRM Innovation. What we've done is we've set up a custom entity called Number Me, and in that we've created a record that has the capability of handling six auto numbers, decrement, floating point, negative, fixed length, integer, and positive, and you'll see the last three we have set up as read-only just for demonstration purposes. Of course, in most environments, you would have just um, typically one auto number per entity record and it would generally be um, read only. So let's take a look at the auto number fields uh, that we have set up um, for this demonstration. First one is decrement. Uh, the description is decrement. You can see that we're using our inline help documentation uh, product with customizable tooltips and you can see that we set the starting value here at 300 the prefix is uh, seats remaining here's a quick preview of the prefix it indicates what the next auto number uh, value will be and which direction are we going to move the sequence up or down in this case it's going to be a countdown let's take a look at the next one floating point we go into a description of floating point. It's running against the attribute name floating point. The next auto number, or the first one in the sequence, since we haven't started it, is 00.00. .00. This is going to be a fixed length attribute um, with 5. We need to enable it here. Uh, starting value is 0.00. .00. .00. It's going to go up by uh, 0.1. And the suffix is going to be percent, uh, the percent symbol. Save and close. The third uh, auto number type that we've set up for demonstration purposes, uh, we've referred to as negative. It's going to start at minus 100, have an increment value of 1, and it's going to go up. So the preview is minus 100. The first value in the sequence will be minus 100. The next example is fixed length. This is sort of a typical type of auto number. It's going to have a field length of 6. Starting value is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. It's going to have an increment value of 1, and it's going to increment in the up direction. The fifth auto number example is going to be positive. We're going to start it at minus 100. We're going to go down by negative 1, and it's going to increment in the up direction. So you can see we've got a lot of different combinations and, and possibilities on how you increment or decrement, and whether you're working for negative or positive values, and whether it's going up or down. So let me create um, the last auto number for uh, the demonstration purpose purposes. We're going to call this integer going to be against the number me entity uh, and the attribute it's going to run against is integer. Let's enable it. The starting value is 1. The increment um, can be uh, any integer or floating point value, positive or negative. We're going to make this 1 and we're going to go in the up direction. So this is pretty much a standard type of auto numbering. Start counting at 1 and go up by 1's. We've got it enabled. We're all set to go there save and close. So let's go over to our number me and let's start creating some auto numbers. Number me record. We've got one, two, and what's happening in the background as we save these records is auto numbers are being created for the six fields. Got five. We're going to do nine of them. Six, seven, eight, and on the last one here, number nine, I'm just going to do a save and you can watch the number auto numbers appear. So we've got seats remaining 292 percent accomplished, 0.08 percent counted down from minus 100 to minus 92. 
fixed length we're up to 9, integer 9, and in positive we're starting at a negative value but increasing in a, uh, a positive direction so to speak. Um, we're at uh, minus 108. So let's take a look at our grid view here, make this a little, wa little wider, and then you can see the results of our nine auto numbers. Now you also see that I've created some record number me records that already existed before I created my auto number uh, routines. We've got A, and that's blank, B, that's blank, and so on. So what I can do is come over to my settings, auto numbers, and use a backfill utility <clears throat> that we have right here to apply auto numbers to records that already existed in the system that had a null value in the field that we're applying the auto number to and um, sequence them. So apply the backfill utility, it runs, it's been completed, click OK, we can close this, go to the next one, we can go to the next one, negative, and we can do the backfill there, go to fixed length, the backfill on that one. You can see that the next auto number jumped from 10 to 16. Positive. We're going to go from a, minus 109 to minus 115. Now we're not going to apply the integer. Let's just go first take a look at our number me values. So you see that we've got, for the A through F records that were created prior to the creation of the auto number routines, it went back through and backfilled them completely. You'll see that here under um, integer and floating point, we haven't applied those. Let's go back and revisit them from a different perspective. Let's go back over here to the settings and let's go to integer and let's do a let's edit the next auto number and make the next auto number 15 save that and now let's apply the backfill utility here and we can see now that the integer value is starting at 21 we'll go over here to the number me entries and we'll just do a quick refresh and we can see we went 1 through 9 and then we reset the starting value to 15 and it went 15 through 20. And that completes our demonstration of auto number by CRM Innovation. We hope you like the utility.